Good, uh, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to class. Uh, in this class, it's designed for beginners and maybe lower intermediate students, although everyone is, of course, welcome, as always. We're going to be talking about feelings and emotions. OK, so we're going to learn some new vocabulary to do with these things, feelings and emotions. And we're going to practice using them. We're going to talk about uh, the words we're going to learn, OK? So hopefully lots of people can join in. Um, in the meantime, for those who haven't added me to Facebook, please do so, okay? So I'll send you the link, my Facebook page link. Please add me, and any questions you have in between classes, please, please send me a message, okay? Um, so just here, please add me if you can. Okay, and I will also send you the resources we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to refer to, so here's the first one. Ayad is there. Cool. Nice that you're here. Good to, good to speak to you. Um, there's the first one and also the second one, if we have time. Um, so it's a two-part session. So in the first part, we're going to learn some words to do with feelings and emotions, and we'll continue this in the second part. Okay, and we'll have some kind of discussion, hopefully. Okay, so um, I will send you the, the next one as well. And also, uh, yeah, Ayad, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Hopefully you can join in. Ayad, can you join today? Are you coming in? Just write me a message or something, and I will send you this uh, the second one. So you should be able to see these, and you should be able to join very, very, very soon. Okay. So feelings and emotions. They're a difficult one, I think, to talk about. Yeah. So um, I don't know. Uh, by the way, I've just noticed the first document I've sent you, maybe you have to rotate it. So if you're opening it up and you have some difficulty seeing it, maybe at the bottom you need to rotate it. So turn it round, maybe. Okay. And hopefully that should be okay for you. I've run out of things to say. I need some students now so we can get on with it. Cool. Anyone there? Is anyone there? Cool. We have Goliath. I'll give it some time to load. Okay. Goliath, can you hear us? Uh... Just do it. No worries, no worries. Uh, I'm, I'm in now. You're what, sorry? I'm in now because it was loading. Oh, you're in. Perfect. Okay, so good to, good to speak with you. Uh, to speak uh, I, was, I, I want to say something. I'm sorry about uh, this morning because I, have, I'm, I was uh, having some trouble with the internet. So I called the, uh, the service of the internet and they fixed it. So it's perfect, yeah? No worries. Now it's working perfectly well. I can oh, it's it. working perfectly, yes. So how are you doing, Goliath? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I'm Ayad, uh, by the way. I'm the same guy who... Who is this morning? Yeah, no, uh, it's uh, in the chat. I'm uh, the same. Oh, Ayad, Ayad. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I have two accounts. Uh, one of uh, the Hangout and one of uh, Verbly. Okay, so for you, you you are Ayed, yeah. That's the one you prefer. Yeah, I'm the same, yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, going to change it later on. So no worries, yeah. But I can remember that. Okay, so Ayed, cool. Nice to meet you. We're talking nice about uh, feelings and emotions, yeah. So Ayed, are you an emotional guy? Of course I am. I'm not a stone. <laughs> I'm not made of stone. Okay, uh, and just, yeah, everyone yes. has emotions, so. But it depends on uh, sometimes uh, what we call uh, sensitive. I'm a bit sensitive. Yep. So sometimes you can be a bit uh, uh, sensitive or insensitive. Do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So it's about degrees. So sometimes I'm sensitive. I don't can't I react overreact with the the emotions and things. Yeah. So sometimes uh, things can get too much. Yeah. So that's that's yeah, quite quite yeah, natural. Yes. That's it. Um, yeah. so yeah, so sometimes a bit, bit sensitive. Okay, so in that case, um, did you manage to open the first document, Ayad? Yeah, I'm loading. I would say yes, but it's a, it's a bit small. Okay, I'll just share my screen and show you how to do it because you need to maybe rotate it and also to zoom in. Uh, yeah, yeah. You've got I it? Think. 
So it is, it is quite small. I'll just share my screen anyway for those who are watching. So we're going to discuss this today. Upside down, no? Yeah, so just uh, rotate it. I'll show you quickly now. Oh, it's done. Language help. Can you see my screen? Feelings. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, I, I managed to do it. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss today. We're going to look through this and learn lots of new words. Um, Ayat, you've been speaking English, I guess, for quite a long time, right? Uh, yes, I, in my spare time, I, I, and I've been to UK, yeah, by the way, three times. Oh, where did you go? I, uh, London. Cool. And the uh, last time I went to Scotland, to Edinburgh. Scotland, okay, so it's a bit, yeah. bit different. What did yeah, you think it's of a bit London? Different. Uh, London, uh, I think it's the most important city, but uh, what I say, it's dynamic. Uh, okay. A bit different about uh, when we compare it with Paris, but every town has uh, has its uh, character and uh, has its beauty. So, so I know the, the both cities. But Paris I, and London. Paris and London, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's, uh, quite quite big cities. Um, of course, they have good things about. I feel but, I feel comfortable in London. I don't know why. Yeah, it's okay. Not so bad. It's because there's a huge mix, I think. Yeah, so there's quite a huge no, mix. No, no, it's people. about the character of people. People are very calm there. Calm? Yeah, very calm. Very really? calm and cold. Really? I can say cold. Calm? Yeah, calm and cold. Okay, what do you mean by calm? Yeah, so I, Calm, I, uh, they don't get angry easily, uh, they don't speak too much. Yeah. I uh, think that's not interesting, like fresh, right? yeah. Hmm? I think that's interesting saying calm, yeah? So I'd say quite stressed as well, but a lot of people are quite easy going, I'd say, in London as well. No, maybe, but yeah? I'm comparing. If you live there and you don't compare, and when I compare with French people or, uh, I don't know, other countries, yeah. they are more calm than other people. Okay, it's interesting. Cool. But if we compare uh, London with uh, the suburb or the countryside, yeah. you can say they are more stressed. So it's yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm comparing. Yeah. So I'm from the um, kind of the suburb areas, I guess. Uh, no, so I'm I'd comparing say... about, uh, between other countries, not between uh, in the in uh, inside the U UK. So God knows what it's like. Yeah, for people going to the small towns. Yeah. So if they send people in London, they calm. People in the smaller towns are asleep. Okay, so that's cool. Um, and we've got Mira. Hello, Martin. Hi, Mira. Good to speak with you again. Hello. And we're talking about um, emotions, feelings and emotions and things like this. Um, Mira, are you an emotional person? I'm an emotional in all the people in this world. You're the most emotional. Yes, I love the people so much um, because I um, don't care who you are or where you're from. I am just care about the humanity. So okay. I love you. Oh, thank you, Mira. I love you too, yeah? <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> thank you. You so, love me. And me uh, we, we love you. We, everyone love, yeah, we love you as well, Ayad. Yeah? So we love you. Mira, do you love Ayad? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Mira, do you love Aya? Yes, <laughs> I love all people in this world. <laughs> Aya, do you love Mira? Yes, I do. <laughs> Perfect. Guys, we are friends. We are, we are family, the verbling family. Okay, so you are very emotional. Uh, do you, uh, are you too sensitive? So Aya was saying at the beginning that he's a bit sensitive. Okay, are you sensitive, Aya, uh, uh, Mira? Yes. How sensitive are you? Uh, as you said, as you can see, I'm so sensitive, but I um, keep my sensitive in my side to don't hear uh, anyone. Okay, yeah, so you keep it, try to keep it under wraps and things like that. That's, that's cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a look at, we're going to talk about feelings and emotions. Uh, if anyone's watching, you're welcome to join, okay? There is lots of space. Don't worry about your English, okay? So don't worry if you're nervous. It's designed for beginners, but we will adapt to the people who come. So if you're out there and you want to join in, please join in. Don't worry, okay? And it should be right. Okay, so Mira, did you manage to open the document? For sure. Cool. I'm just loading um, it. No worries. Uh, and we're going to have a look through this, okay? So guys, okay. you know the difference between an emotion and a feeling? To have feelings, to have emotions. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. okay, do you know the difference? Uh, Mira, could you explain? Yeah, I wished. 
I can have an explanation because it's a bit. Uh, there is a slight difference, I think, between. Yeah, to have feelings and emotions. Emotions, things like. Anger is an emotion, but that's also a feeling to feel angry, to feel happy. An emotion would be joy, happiness. Basically, it's the same, yes. <laughs> Essentially, it's the same. To have, uh, there's very little difference. Mira, would you agree? Would you say that? I don't see any difference. I don't, I don't know in the grammatic or in vocabulary or in the language, but I don't think there is a big uh, difference. No, it's the same. Yes. Yeah? So your emotions. To have um, and feelings, uh, I think is the same. I think it's the same. Yeah. So I don't know why they say both. So emotions and feelings. Yeah. They, they link very, very closely. Uh, for something with maybe, someone. Maybe. Maybe yeah, emotion please. is exciting to do something. Uh, exciting to be angry or uh, in love or something like this. But feeling is something you keep in your heart. Okay. So uh, your feelings. You could feel angry though as well. Yeah. So. Your feelings towards something. So you mm -hmm. can feel good about something, feel bad about something, feel annoyed about something. Yeah, so they essentially they're similar, very, very similar, I would say. Okay, um, although it probably does explain below. Let's see if it does explain. Pretty good because, no, it doesn't explain. So in that case, yeah, so we use emotions and feelings for something which someone feels strongly about. Who would like to read this? Which one? Okay, uh, uh, would you like to read the first paragraph, the language help? Who, oh, me or Mira? Yes, please. Uh, yes, okay. please. Okay. Uh, I have to read the language help, huh? Yes, please. We use emotion and feelings, uh, feeling uh, with, between brackets, yes, for something which someone feels strongly about. Example, love, hate, or anger. Emotions are a part of our characters. Character. Example, that is this Tima. Timo. Timo, is, I guess Timo. Who is Timo? Is a person. I Timo is. is a very emotional person. Yeah. He shows his feelings easily. easily uh, feeling uh, is often plural. She doesn't like talking about her feelings. So your emotions then explained is part of your character. So I would say your feelings are also part of your character. Because how you respond to your fit, yeah, I'd say they link very closely. So emotions part of character. So uh, you are a happy person. You experience the emotion of happiness, I guess. Yeah, but also you feel happy. Yeah, so they link. Um, she doesn't talk. So feelings generally, your feelings are how you respond to things. Martin, I have uh, uh, is maybe feelings is something hidden, and emotions said you you can show it. Is that it? But you could hide your emotions as well. Oh, really? So, a cold person would hide their emotions. I can't find out where is the difference. What is the difference? Yeah, there's, uh, there's really, really, they're really connected, I would say. Yeah? No, yeah, I can't I really see a big difference. But you'd say, yeah. sometimes you can say, for example, it just sounds right to say uh, his emotions or his feelings. I, I, mm. If I said to you, I've hurt your feelings, it sounds better than if I say I've hurt your emotions. Yeah? yeah. So mm. it just sometimes about tone. Okay, uh, did anyone else join? I don't know if I heard the beep. Yep, cool. Okay, we have someone else. Andres. Yeah, teacher. How are you, Andres? I'm fine, thanks. N nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Cool. And how long have you been speaking English? Uh, excuse me? How long have you been speaking English? Oh, maybe six months ago. Six months or so, yeah. So welcome, Andres. Today we're talking about feelings and emotions. Do you understand these words? Yeah, more or less. Okay, so no worries. So I've sent you the documents in the verbling chat box on the right-hand side. Please okay. open these, and you should be able to see what we're, we're talking about. And also, you can see my screen if it, it doesn't work. Okay, so... Uh, so, Mira, you are an emotional person, right? Yes. And you also said I, I add, yeah? So you are also emotional. I add is emotional, yeah? That's why I love you all. Love us all, yeah? So, Andres, <laughs> are you joining in the love, yeah? Do you love us? Yeah. Do you love us? Yeah. 
He's like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, no, okay, so, Andres, are you an emotional chap? I what, teacher? Are you an emotional guy? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay, to what extent are you emotional? So, how emotional are you? Mm. I can... Mm. How emotional? How emotional? Are you, for example, do you get angry easily? Do you get happy easily? Do you know what emotions are, Andres? Uh, emotions. I, I'm more happy in that, that angry or, or sadness. So, uh, yeah, so things like anger, sadness, um, happiness, joy, things like this, uh, uh, emotions you can feel. Um, so are you an emotional person, meaning do you experience lots of emotion? Um, no, I, I just experience more happiness than uh, hunger or sadness. Okay, yeah, so more happiness. So you wouldn't get too emotional. Your emotions are under control. Yeah, it's not like one minute you get angry, one minute you get happy. Yeah, things like this. Okay, so uh, that's cool. Uh, so that's emotions and feelings. Very, very little difference. I can't see it myself, but I, I understand sometimes when I say emotions, it sounds appropriate. When I say feelings, it doesn't. But you'll get an idea about this as well. Okay, so uh, Mira, would you like to read the first speech bubble, please? Okay. Well, obviously, I am very proud of my son's success, but I am not a bit. I am a bit disappointed that the local paper hasn't shown more interest in the story. Yeah, so well, obviously, I'm very proud of my son's success, but I'm a bit disappointed that the local paper hasn't shown more interest in the story. Okay, what does it mean to uh, what does it mean to be proud? To be happy for something, uh, get your head high. Yeah, keep your head high, you'll be proud of something, you are um, content with something that you've done. So if you are proud, for example, of your English, you say, yeah, I think I've done well with my English, so I'm proud of my English. Proud can be, could be also a bit satisfied. Satisfied, yeah, content, satisfied. Yeah, to be, to be proud of something. If you develop a company, um, and it turns successful, you could be very proud of your company, or you could be very proud of your son, or you could be proud of something that you have had a part in. You've played a part in, yeah? So to be proud. To be proud, but to have what? Uh, let's ask Andres, okay? Yeah. To be proud, but to have, what can you have? To, so be, to proud. be proud, but to have proper. I don't understand, sorry. No worries, no worries. So proud is the adjective. What is the noun? Pride. So the proud person, yeah, pride, to have pride. So uh, he's a very, pr but you can say he's a very proud person, but he has pride, yeah? He, he puts pride. a lot, of, he has a lot of pride in everything he does. Pride, okay, yep. pride and prejudice. Pride and prejudice, perfect. Has anyone seen this movie? I, I want to read the story, but uh, I, I couldn't have, didn't find the moment, the appropriate moment. So it's was Jane, Jane, Jane Austen, Austen, yes? I don't know, but there's many movies, not one. Just yeah, only lots one. of different interpretations of it. It's, uh, it's a novel, it's a very well-known well novel, I think. Cool, I, so uh, Mira, do you know Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice? No, I'm sorry because I don't care about the title of anything, uh, even if it's book or movie or something like this. I um, care about uh, content of uh, this. Well, uh, contained, yeah? Thing. So, yes. So, so, Pride and Prejudice is uh, the Pride and the Prejudice. They're both nouns, yeah? So, uh, that's cool. Okay, uh, so that's fine. So, uh, Mira, are you a proud person? Uh, not a complete meaning in pride person, but uh, in general, I'm 
proud of anything that I do. Okay, because you put effort in it to begin with, okay? Um, you can also describe someone, for example, who uh, refuses to ask for help um, all the time, even if he needs help, you can say, I was too proud. Yeah? No, I'm not like this because I I'm, I'm like so much to help people. Yeah. And when um, I can't help anyone, I, I feel disappointed. But also, for example, lots of uh, like grandparents, I guess, in the UK, uh, don't want to accept help. Yeah, so if some, someone offers them help, they're like, no, I can do it, I'm completely independent, because they are, they're too proud, meaning they don't want to admit that maybe they need help or whatever, yeah, so things like this, you can describe someone as a, a proud person. But generally, uh, Ayad, are you proud? Are you a proud person? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, that's cool. And what would you say, uh, Andres, are you proud? Mm, uh, I don't know, could be. <laughs> Could be, yeah, it depends, yeah, it depends on, on what, what it is. Okay, that's cool. So that's to be uh, proud and to have uh, pride. But I'm a bit disappointed. I guess that's yeah. a clear one, yeah? Andres? Yes. Yeah. What does it mean? Disappoint disappointed. Upset. Yeah, to be disappointed. Upset? Yeah. Yeah, upset with something. Uh, uh, give me an example. Happy. Not satisfied. Yeah, what could you be dis disappointed with? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let my colleague to respond because it's not my turn. <laughs> All right. Mira? Disappointed from something? Yeah, so give us an example of something you could be uh, disappointed with. For the humanity of the world, about the uh, case of Syria. Okay, yeah, things like this, yeah? So, uh, Make propaganda for what happened in Boston and no one care about what happened in Syria. Uh, uh, Bashar from side and Israel from side and Hezbollah from other side. No one can. No propaganda from this. Just Boston. Where okay. is the humanity? Okay, so disappointment in uh, justice, yeah? Things like this, you could say. Uh, you could say disappointment with how things are reported. You could say. You Injustice. Could say Injustice. Injustice, things like this. Okay. Uh, what else could you be disappointed with, uh, Andres? Yeah. Uh, w what other things could you be disappointed with? Mm. Be when when you are loving for a girl, but yeah. she have boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you you fancy someone, and you it turns out that she's got boyfriend, or yeah, the other way around, whatever. Yeah. So that could be uh, something that you could be disappointed with. Okay. Uh, I Can I say about, uh, I was disappointed um, about my friend, I yes. lent him, I lent him uh, a huge amount of money and he just gone. Whoa, okay, you lent him money and he went? He went and uh, I didn't want to fight about it, so I let it go. God, but yes, I was disappointed because uh, he wasn't... Uh, a reliable friend. Yeah, so he broke your trust. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so this, this happens, yeah? So, um, yeah, that's tricky. So now it's difficult now for you to be friends, I guess. It's, 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 it's very low from his part. Yeah. Uh, do you think you'll get it back? What? Do you think you will get it back? I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, so things like this, yeah? So that make you disappointed. But, uh, but you it's not someone. money important in this matter, because this is the trust. The, yeah. uh, he wasn't, uh, how do you say, uh, wasn't, uh, don't know how to say it, uh, a trustable, reliable uh, guy. Person, yes, you can trust. Uh, yes, I was Has anyone else experienced mm. this, um, not necessarily about necessarily giving money, but uh, you trusted your friend with something, and then your friend left you disappointed. Yes, sir. Have you ever been disappointed by a friend, Andres? I just want to add uh, an yes. uh, a a betrayal. He betrayed me. Like betrayed, this. Yeah. Yeah. yep, yep, yep. To betray someone. He betrayed your trust. I mean, you trusted him and See, he betrayed yes. you. Yeah. Andres, have you ever been uh, disappointed by a friend? A friend? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I have. I have been. Okay, yeah, so this, this experience, and it's not a good feeling, I guess. Yeah, Mira, have you ever been disappointed by a friend? No, how come I uh, call him friend and he disappoints me? No. Okay, so now he wouldn't be, yes, or she wouldn't be. But yeah, at that time, yes, that's interesting. Zul uh, Zaya has joined us. Zul Zaya? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice to speak with you, Zulzaya. Um, where are you Thank from? Thank you. I'm uh, I'm from Taiwan. Cool. And how long have you been speaking English? Um, since two thousand nine. Okay, so four years or so. Yeah, so three or four years. That's cool. So welcome, uh, welcome. Uh, we're talking about feelings and emotions. Did uh -huh. you manage to see the document I sent the class? Yes. So. In the in the right hand side in the verbling chat box, I sent two documents. Okay. Oh really? Okay. But I'll send you them again, okay? And please. Open uh huh. Them. Oh, maybe you need them in the Google chat box. I'll, I'll put them there for you. Okay. Um, and the second one. We're going to have a look at the first one at the moment, but there's a part two as well, yeah. So we'll continue with this. Um, exercise. Zolzaya. Ah. Can you see? You mean exercise? Uh. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, the open the one that says feelings. Ah, first. this one. Okay. The the first one. Yeah. It says feelings. Yeah. Ah, feeling. Okay. Um. And uh, Zulzaya, would you say? Would you describe yourself as an emotional person? Do you know what this means to be emotional? Yes. Um, I'm. How how can I explain? I am very the the person who reacts very very fast. Yeah. Uh, the kind of emotional, yes, I would say. Okay, so you are uh, kind kind of emotional. Um, okay. <laughs> yes, but let me see that picture. Okay, that feeling. Can you see? Okay. I'm very curious. Yes, I'm very curious, and sometimes I confuse the, the for the things. Okay, so you get confused. You know, then. some yes, sometimes I I I th I can't choose the which one is correct, and then I I I don't know the which way I, I should I should go or something like that. Sure. Yeah. So uh, undecided, you could say undecided. It could be Unde A or B, ah. and you don't know. Yeah. So undecided. Um, okay, so we were talking also about these couple of words. So to be proud and to be disappointed. Um, Zolzaya, okay, uh -huh. what kind of things make you proud and what kind of things make you disappointed? Mm, proud, of course, I would say. My original is I'm from Mongolia, so I I'm proud of my um, my history, my roots, culture. Yeah, I'm proud uh, of my roots. And yes, proud proud of my what? Roots. I'll write this down for you. Roots. So I'm proud of my roots, meaning I'm proud of where I come from. Root. Your roots, yeah. So, for example, a root. plant has roots. Yeah. The yes, roots yeah. Are the ah, things, like yeah. that. Ah. Yeah. I'm proud of so where roots I grew. So roots are from. just root. Roots. Root. Root, uh -huh, okay, okay. You have more than Without one, yes, yeah, roots. Mm. Where I came from, yes, yeah? so you're proud of your country, you're proud of your uh, everything, yeah, that made you you, you are proud of this. So you're yes. proud of your roots. Uh huh. And disappointing is means uh, when I. Sometimes my wish is, my dream is not to come true, and then I feel disappointed. Yeah, so if you try to uh, fulfill a dream and it doesn't come true, this would lead you to be disappointed, I guess. Yeah, yes, so. Yes, yes. Okay, things like this. But generally, yeah, so. Uh, and we also talked about the meaning to be a proud person. For example, if you needed help, um, would you ask for help for something, yeah? So it could be anything. So of course. Example. I'm. I'm. Yes. I. I. I must um, help. For example, my my class or my my assignment. 
I, I ask uh, the help from my friends. So some of my friends um, being very successful in uh, political uh, area and also in um, yes, I have a lot of friends uh, proud of them. I, I'm proud of them. Okay, you can be proud of your friends as well, yeah. So yes, all your yes, family or things like this. Cool. Yes, uh, yes. Okay, another you. question. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you proud to be Egyptian, Mira? Egyptian. Mira, Mira, sorry, Mira. I'm ah. sure you're proud of your root, but uh, uh, as I said at the first, I care about the humanity. Uh, otherwise, I can uh, deal with anyone in this world, even if uh, I'm in the war of him. Yeah. Uh, just like we beside, I can deal with uh, Jewish people without knowing if he is Jews or not. Uh, just because he is a human, okay. I don't care who who is. Okay, yes, it doesn't matter about uh, who, it, it's just a person, yes, yeah? so the person, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, that's the point, yeah, so... I don't Look, know, Martin, I, 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 don't, I, I don't care uh, uh, who you are, so uh, why I hate you, I, I hate the behavior, not I hate the human uh, as a human being. You are a, a, a human being like me. So I don't hate you anymore, but I hate your behavior. It is a violence, or you you don't treat me uh, employed. I hate employed people. So this is a problem for me. But uh, you are a, a human being, and I am a human being. I don't care if you are man or a woman or uh, from Mars or whatever. I don't care. So okay. You yes. Hate, you hate acts, not uh, people. The, the acts. Yes. Yeah, you know, because everyone makes mistakes. Everyone does things that maybe they regret. So best not to hate the person for that, but hate what they did. Mm. And you know, if they keep doing it, then there's something else. But I, I guess, for example, in uh, Ayad's case, where someone you know runs off with your money, that's something different. Because, um, yeah, you know, you of course you'd hate the act, but also you can't trust someone who does that again because uh -huh. they promised you, they said, I'll I'll pay you back, and they didn't pay you back. Yeah. So I think that's. Very, very I passed cool. with experience like I had, but uh, I, I'm doing maybe uh, something different. I uh, I said to my uh, my colleague, not I call him my friend. I said to him, "It is a cadeau from me. Uh, don't care about this anymore." And uh, just uh, we continue, but you you, you uh, make a, a sign on this person. You don't. Uh, um, Treat with him uh, in this field uh, with money. Yeah. So put an X in this fr in this uh, colleague, as you can see. The, the difficulty is, is, for example, yeah, they say don't mix friendship with kind of business. But if a friend says to you, "Oh, I really, really need um, the money. I need it for something," as you know, you can't really say to your friend, "Well, no." Yeah, if you have it, really, I guess it's quite quite difficult. Yeah. So I had, um, um, I. I was in business with uh, this colleague, but I said, and they take uh, all my money in uh, in our business, and they said it is gone. We uh, I do something with it, uh, but I can't return it to you. So I said it's free, don't care. Uh, but I put an X on this person to yeah. don't treat with him in money. Yeah, so that's the thing. Yes, yeah? so it's a difficult lesson to learn, and it's I don't know because what the life will pass. Sorry? So life will pass. Uh, you you can treat with this person in many situations and uh, uh, he will know uh, he's wrong um, maybe after a while. Yeah, okay. So, so uh, uh, I hate to lose people. I hate to lose any people. Okay. The thing is, uh, is that that's a bad situation I had faced. Uh, I had, faced. Um, has anyone had a similar situation? So Abdul has joined us. Cool. How are you, sir? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good, thank you. And hello to everyone in the class. Hello, yeah, so he's Abdul says hello. Say hello back. 
Hello, Abdul. Together. No. Okay. So, Abdul, we're talking about emotions, feelings, and stuff. Are you what we describe as an emotional person? Uh, I think everybody got some emotions, you know, like nobody is emotionless. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So everyone, everyone has emotions, but when I say emotional, uh, maybe do you show your emotions? Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But do you prefer to not show your emotions, or do you prefer to show? If, for example, you're upset, do you mind people knowing you're upset? Uh, I don't know. It depends on the situation. If sometime, let's say, if I'm upset, and you know, if and if I really want to share, you know, the feelings, so I will don't hesitate, you know. I would do. Yeah. Okay, so it depends what it is, yeah? So if you're angry with someone, you let them know, yeah? So they, they know what they've done and stuff. Okay, it's cool. Adela is there. Hi, Martin. How are you today? Fine, thanks. And you? Cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, again, the same question for you, Adela. Are you an emotional person? I think uh, not uh, a very emotional person. Uh, I am a practical person and uh, a little uh, uh, cold or st strong. Uh, I I think <laughs> is okay. You're strong in the head, yeah. So you're quite practical, quite realistic, quite grounded. You would yeah. say quite grounded. To be grounded. You're on the ground, ground. Uh, means you're on the ground and um, you're thinking very carefully. Yeah, so you're not going out of control. Maybe you don't go out of control with your emotions, whatever. Okay, so good to speak to you, Adler. Um, I'll just introduce the others, then we'll go back to the ones we discussed, and we'll go on to some more. Um, Canny is there. Hi. How are you, Canny? I'm fine. Good to speak with you. Where are you from? From Morocco. Morocco, cool, awesome. Okay, so welcome, Kenny. Are you emotional? Uh, I'm emotional when I feel a fear, when I feel a love, I, I like to tell how I'm feeling. Kenny, I, I think there's a little problem there, so I can't hear you so, so well. Um, maybe turn your, your volume up if it's possible, okay? No. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Okay, so uh, and also Pierre has joined us. Hello. <coughs> How are you, Pierre? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Not too bad. Not too bad. It sounds like a French name. Okay, so you're from France. Well, uh, French name. I come from AET, but uh, now I'm living in French. Cool, in France, in France. So welcome, Pierre. Um, we are talking today about emotions, okay? So okay. Uh, do you know what this word means, emotions and feelings? Feelings and emotion emotions. Emotions. Do you understand? You. Yes, I understand. Okay, so are you an emotional person? Emotion person? An emotional person, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, but you said you said uh, like you were hesitating, yeah. So uh, why did you hesitate? Do you like to show your emotions, or do you like to keep them under wraps? But I I shake my emotion. To show, to show, yeah. So to keep something. Yes, I show I show my emotion. Show, yeah. So you wouldn't keep it under wraps, yeah. So you would show your emotion when you're happy. People know you're happy. When you're angry, people know you're angry. Cool. Okay, so welcome, uh, Pierre. Welcome. Martin, excuse me. Do you mean yes. under wrap? What do you mean? It means under wraps, uh, covered, covered. To, to, to hide your emotions? Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, it's done. To hide something is to uh, keep something under wraps. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if you have a story or something, you could keep it under wraps. 
perhaps meaning uh, you don't reveal that story, you don't tell people that story. Okay? So, uh, Anastasia said, do you have enough emotions for me here, yeah? So, I had, yeah, okay, there's some flirting going on, cool. Okay, verbling dating, dating. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go on. Okay, so uh, we were talking about to be proud to um, be disappointed. Let's Martha, go to you the can be emotional people, you can be an emotional person, but you can hide your emotion. If you learn to uh, how to control in yourself. So it's possible, yeah? So you can have both. You can be emotional but not, not show the whole world. Things like yes, this, okay? we, we learn it in, uh, in public communication, how to hide your emotion and uh, deal with people you can hit them so much. Yeah, so deal with people even with if you don't smile. like them. Okay, so just yes. smile, grin and bear it, we say. Grin and bear it. Okay, write this down. Yes. So grin and bear it is like, uh, just do it, yeah? So grin and bear it, meaning uh, smile and just get on with it, okay? Okay, so grin and bear it. Um, who would like to read the second speech bubble? So we read the first one, proud and disappointed. Who would like to read the second one? So it says, uh, from the politicians. The politicians seem confused. Let's get... Uh, Andres to read this, please. So, from the politicians. Andres, are you there? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so, uh, so someone just said, eat it and say yummy. Is that in your language? I had. <laughs> no, just invaded. <laughs> I think that's better. Eat it and say yummy, yeah? So even, even if you don't like it, just say it's yummy. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, even if it's it. not uh, tasty. Yeah. Yeah, so hide it. Just, we, just, we, yeah, say, uh, just uh, wait, wait, we say swallow it. Swallow it, yes. Yeah, so swallow yeah, it. In Arabic, we say it's swallow it. Swallow it and keep on moving. Actually, Lincoln say swallow your pride. Meaning, stop being proud and accept something, yeah? So, uh, okay, a gift so or something, yes? Yeah? Okay. Swallow your pride, you could say. Swallow your... Uh, something like that would be very common. Uh, before we go on, we've got uh, Philip back. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Lorenzo, actually. <laughs> Lorenzo, okay. Yeah. Okay, one second, let me write this down. Uh, Lorenzo, where are you from? Italy. Middle cool. Italy. Cool, okay, so welcome. Welcome, Lorenzo, okay? Uh, ah, we're talking you. about emotions and things. Uh, are you emotional? Yeah, sometimes. In what situations would you be more emotional? Uh, maybe a family loss. Okay, so a loss of a family member, something like this. Um, and what situations could you be completely um, not emotional, as in quite almost cold? <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, when I'm when I'm lucky uh, during a job interview. Yeah. So you could keep a straight face. You could not show any yeah. emotion. And that kind of thing. Yeah. Even if you're thinking, I'll yes, try. yes, I'm a man. Yeah, I got the job. You would keep it quite calm. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I would have to think about your offer when you're thinking, yes, 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 yes. I'll tell you next week. That kind of thing. Yeah. So you keep. Calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Calm. Cool. Okay. So in that case, uh, no one else has joined. Let's let's go on. So, uh, Andres. Okay. Would you like to read from the second speech bubble? And it starts from the politicians. Okay. The second. The speech. The bubble. politicians yeah, is confused yeah, about what to do. So I know how helpful that things will improve. Yeah, the politicians seem confused about what to do, so I'm not hopeful that things will improve. Who can relate to this in their countries? I guess that's probably everyone. Yeah, so uh, the politicians seem confused, and uh, you're not hopeful that things will improve. Abdul, can you relate to this? Yeah, I mean, uh, politicians are like, basically, you know, I mean, our leaders, you know? Yeah. And if they are confused, you know, uh, 
and don't know, I mean, what to do and how to get things done, you know. So, I mean, that's kind of disappointing, and you know, I mean, so that's, I think, everywhere. Yeah, so it's, it's the same. So if uh, the leaders are confused or if people in authority are confused, then, of course, yeah, you can't have much confidence. Adler, what do you say in your country? I agree with the sentence because <laughs> politicians uh, are uh, are in this moment uh, are uh, uh, lost uh, the the power uh, because the European Union uh, has the the control uh, about the economic uh, uh, measures, uh, etc. Uh, I think uh, people uh, need to to throw or to Leave left uh, the uh, politician uh, have the control uh, the the power in the in the people. Okay, the thing is is that um, yeah that's so yeah. So if you've lost the the power over certain things, yeah, the, confused I guess. Yes, yeah? so there's lots of confusion. Um, Andres, what do you say in your country? So can you relate to this expression? This 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 uh, quote. Well, yeah. Okay. So, would you say a politician's confused in your country? <laughs> uh, I disagree. In my country is <laughs> you no know, confused. They know what are they doing, and yeah. they are taking our the society under um, poorness and inequality. So. It's too hard. Okay, so they're not confused, they're aware, yeah? But um, this, so you understand, guys, the meaning of confused. Any last comments? I'm not going to ask you all about this, but any last comments you'd like to make on this quote, yes? Yeah? So politicians are confused, and you can't be hopeful. Any more comments? I, I have a word when you say about a politician, we say, I'm skeptical about skeptical. what they will do. Yeah, cool. Skeptical. Skeptical, yeah. I'm not uh, sure they will make, make it. Okay, so to be skeptical about something. Do you understand, guys? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so what does it mean, Philip, to be skeptical? Um, to uh, not disagree, so it's not as strict as uh, disagreement, but um, to. To uh, disapprove, I, I don't know. I don't have. Uh, uh, I don't remember a, a word that has the same meaning. Now. Yeah. So that's that's essentially doubtful. Doubtful. To be doubtful. Doubtful. Yeah. Yeah. Doubtful. yeah, yeah. Doubtful. That's cool. Yeah. So to be skeptical, sure. they they say something like, "Oh, what we're going to do next is we're going to reduce your taxes," um, and then you might be skeptical, thinking, oh, "Well, that means, for example, they're going to do something else." Yeah. So. It's not all good. You don't trust something. Yeah, you're a bit skeptical. You're doubtful. You tr you don't trust it 100 percent. But if you trust in yourself and uh, believe in yourself, you can do anything you want, uh, even if it, uh, the authority accepted it or confused or not. Yeah. So it, it depends. Yeah. So it's power power with the people. Yeah. So that can be. Yes. It's, it's what did you say to Ellen? Self confidence. Self-confidence, yeah? So to have self-confidence in your own abilities and things like this. Cool. Uh, okay, so these two words then. Let's go back. So it was uh, to be confused and to be uh, hopeful, okay? Who right now is confused, yeah, about things in their life, yeah? So uh, it's undecided. You don't have to tell if... Or just to, to practice, you don't have to tell personal stories. I'm, I'm anyone... confused. Okay. I don't it's about the behavior of people. I don't understand what logic they are following. People, they are not uh, logical uh, for me these days. Okay, the thing is, so it's not logical. So, for yes. example... We can't predict uh, people nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree with this. Yeah? They, so, they can be your friend, they can turn against you, they can be, uh, I don't know... <laughs> they change like a chameleon. Very quickly, has anyone uh, had this kind of experience? And would anyone agree with this or disagree with this? 
Are people are confusing. Are people confusing Zolzea? Mm. Yeah, it could be happen to anyone, but uh, nowadays I'm confusing what I should I should I should do the after my graduation. Um, the things is that should I stay in Taiwan and work here, or should I go back my country or work there? I'm confused. The things that they say, I would confuse. If you're undecided about something, yeah, so, um, have yeah. you got any more stories about things maybe that's making them confused or things that confuse them generally? What do you mean? Um, to other people, yes. Yeah? So generally, um, is there anything that confuses people? So, for example, I had said uh, you mean people, people, people. Yeah, people or things, decisions. So usually, for example, deciding what to do after graduation, whatever, whatever, would be one thing. Yeah, so that's uh -huh. an example. So, so I'll say. Uh, Any more examples? People are confusing by the politician uh, because uh, they think I uh, have the investment. Uh, what is my money? Is sure uh, this is a, a in instability. Um, uh, uh, financial instability uh, is a uh, confuser uh, for the for the people. I think. Yeah, and you're thinking, what the hell has happened? Yeah, so that that kind of thing. Yeah, so that would make you confused when you're thinking, how did that happen? Yeah, where did the money go? Kind of thing. Yeah, so okay, this, this is cool. Okay, that's to be confused, and then linking to that is to be hopeful. Who at the moment? Who's the most optimistic person here? Okay, Abdul is very optimistic. We had this discussion yesterday. Uh, who is very hopeful about things? Me, me for sure. <laughs> I thought you were going to say so. Mira, I, I had the, the, the sense, okay? So why are you particularly hopeful? Because there are something good waiting for us in somewhere. So I believe in, I will touch it sometimes. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's the thing, yes. Yeah. Something better coming. Just, just Justin, like when you help anyone and have a good smile on his face, you feel hopeful and optimistic all the time. Okay, any comments on this? What do you say, Philip? Are you a hopeful person? Uh, I can relate to that because I'm uh, actually moving to Berlin to find a job, so I'm leaving Italy. I have to be hopeful to, uh, to land a job, so. And Berlin um, is cool, yes? Yeah? I'm, I'm optimistic, yeah. Have you been to Berlin before? Yeah, on vacation. It's awesome, yeah? So at least two weeks. So at the moment I'm uh, living in Leipzig, which is maybe one hour by train from Berlin. So I'm from the UK originally, but now I'm living in, in Leipzig. And it's it, Berlin is very, very cool. I like this. Has anyone else been to Berlin? It's kind of like a interesting city, because it's kind of like... Yeah, it's, it's really creative, it's really kind of young, it's really, yes, yeah, it's good. Has anyone been to Berlin? Or has anyone heard much about Berlin? And um, to be honest, it's also cheap. And, yeah, very cheap. So to rent an apartment there is... It matters. It's cheap. If you're young, so, it matters. And also things like uh, to eat out is cheap as well. So pizza, yeah? So you can get pizza for maybe two euros, something like this. Oh, uh, it's yeah? not a problem. I'm not a... I'm fond of pizza. Yeah, okay, yeah, so things like this. So it's, it's quite a cool, cool city. So you're hopeful about uh, starting a new life in a new country and stuff. Uh, yeah. What about you, Zol Zaya? So are you hopeful? Mm, yes, it's, but it depends on what. <laughs> but I'm the usually, um, yes, the optim optimistic. Optimistic. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you're usually. I optimistic. I hope um, I hope I will meet the, the good man and marriage and I hope the Prince Charlie, I hope I will oh. have a nice family and all these things. Okay. So about this thing. So hopeful about the the family. Yeah. So getting the the Prince Charming things like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite important for a woman, I think. Okay. That's interesting. Adler, would you say so? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still looking for your Prince Charming? Um, uh, I am uh, uh, helpful uh, because I prefer to see the bottle uh, half full. Cool, you uh, remember, yeah? So, 
in Spanish, uh, we talk about the, this or any disease is uh, isn't for the a hundred years. Uh, when uh, they are a problem, I think uh, is uh, for a short time. Okay, this, yes. Yes, is. It's temporary. So temporary. yes. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, so in that case, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. So it's to be a view to be to be hopeful. Who would like to read the the third uh, speech bubble? So the in the bottom kind of uh, left hand corner. Starting so says, we were curious. We were curious. Yeah. Uh, should I should I read? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, we were curious to see what all the noise was about, but I felt. Anxious, 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 yeah. anxious, anxious. Mm, when I saw how angry uh, the men were, and really scared when they started coming towards us. Okay, so we were curious to see what all the noise was about, but I felt anxious when I saw how angry the men were, and really scared when they started coming towards us. Okay, curious to be curious. Uh, let's ask. Yeah. Andres, what does it mean to be curious? Curious? Yeah, to be curious. Uh, maybe when you want to know about something. Yeah, you always wanting to. Yeah. And uh, you all the time uh, wanna want to know about something. I can hear a dog. Yeah. So. Oh my. Okay, so you're always wanting to know about something. They're curious too. Sorry? <laughs> about the dogs. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, so I'm curious about the dog. Who? Yeah, it's called dog. dog. Yeah, so, yeah, so who's dog? Uh, I think we, we should say to be interested in, right? I'm curious about, yeah, I'm curious, I'm curious about whose dog it is, yeah, that you can say that. I'm interested to find out whose dog. You can say both. I'm curious, that's what it means. I'm curious why he's barking. Yeah, curious why he's barking. Yeah, what's what's going on? Yeah, that that kind of thing. Okay, so uh, who is very curious? Abdul, are you curious? About what? Uh, general thing. About so the dog? Are you... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you curious about the the dog? Yeah, so Abdul, what about the dog? Yeah, the dog is barking, so I don't know what's going on. You know. <laughs> What the hell's happening to the dog? Okay, so he's, he stopped now. Now I'm curious as to what happened to the dog. Yeah, why he stopped? Someone killed him. <laughs> but anyway, okay, someone Abdul. Someone's trying. Oh, has anyone seen Keeping Mum, guys? Has anyone seen this film, Keeping Mum? No. Anyone? Okay, maybe not because it's like, like a British film. British films are not so, so popular. But uh, this is with the guy from. Do you know Mr. Bean? Yeah, you know Mr. Bean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rowan Atkinson. Rowan Atkinson, yeah. This guy is the uh, the star of this, this film, and he's playing this kind of serious role. It's a black comedy, um, and he plays a vicar um, of a small parish, a small like community, and uh, his wife, uh, basically his family are really, really um, bad, yeah, dysfunctional. His daughter is off with a new boyfriend every week, and, you know, um, and he's the vicar, so he's the priest of the church, and he's in a very respected position. But his wife yeah, since I've seen here. this. Yeah, I've seen and this movie. His mother-in-law is like a murderer. Mm. He has a family. Yeah, so his family and his family dysfunctional. His mother-in-law is a murderer and murders the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen this for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is. I recommend this one if you want to, to hear some. I have a, f a movie for you, Martin. Uh, the Anger okay. Management. Have you seen it? No, I yes, haven't. Yes, it's seen. amazing. It's it's, uh, it's about things actually. It's it. with, uh, it. with Adam Sandler. Cool. Has anyone else seen this? Yes, amazing, Martin. I see it uh, a lot of time, and every time I see it, uh, uh, as I see it uh, the first time. Okay, so it's like it's, it's like something new. How to um, control yourself and your emotion, and don't be anger uh, quickly. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it sounds good. By the way, guys, where did the time go? Well, that. Went Really quickly. We're going to continue in the next session, okay? So if you want to, feel free to join in then. Uh, but apart from that, I've got to sign off this one and we'll go to the next one, okay? So take care, have a good day, whatever you're doing, okay? Thank you. Thank you for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.